Hey everyone, this is Ryan on Dinosaur Ryan. The fossils of Spinosaurus are really rare. Um, we find very few fossils from Spinosaurus and the reason for that is because this animal was so big um, that in the environment that uh, Spinosaurus lived in, which is thought to be mangrove swamps, um, it's very difficult for a big animal like Spinosaurus, when it dies, to be completely covered by um, sediment from a river, or in this case a swamp, and uh, being fossilised. So that's why very few fossils from Spinosaurus are actually found. Um, and uh, the only skeleton of Spinosaurus that was found wasn't complete. Um, it was fairly, fairly badly uh, difficult to uh, get a picture of what this animal looked like um, and what made things worse was the fossil was destroyed back in World War II um, so it's very difficult to get an idea of what Spinosaurus was like as an animal um, however uh, fossils have been found uh, of Spinosaurus such as fragments of skull, vertebra, ribs and so on and so from that and being able to get detailed records from the skeleton that was destroyed in World War II we are now getting a better picture of Spinosaurus. The fossils of Spinosaurus may be rare but the teeth of Spinosaurus are actually really common. Um, I've actually seen on some uh, websites that sell fossils they sell Spinosaurus teeth at really ridiculous prices, to be honest, because they're so common. Um, but when it comes down to bones, um, it's fairly, it, it becomes a lot more rarer. I actually have a tooth from a Spinosaurus. It actually has the root attached, um, and the other tooth um, that would have replaced this tooth would have dug in under this and would have popped out um, when this tooth was too badly damaged and so Spinosaurus lost this fossil so here we actually have the root and here would have been the actual tooth that would have stuck out from out of the gum and uh, these are very specific teeth and they look like they were used for uh, hunting fish yet I do believe Spinosaurus did hunt smaller dinosaurs yet because of that sale um, it, was, it, it would have made Spinosaurus more delicate of a theropod dinosaur and so I do not think it would have attacked huge massive uh, herbivores like sauropods because I think uh, Spinosaurus was a lot more delicate um, than other theropod dinosaurs which some people may agree with me, some people may not but that's just my opinion. However, when we look at the fossils of Spinosaurus as we know they are pretty rare um, um, but we have found little bits um, uh, um, within recent, uh, recent years. So, we're able to get a better understanding of this animal. Uh, we're, um, now, a lot of people may know that I actually do not like talking about Spinosaurus, and it's not because I hate Spinosaurus, I actually think it's an awesome animal. Yet, I hate talking about it because everything about Spinosaurus we practically know have been um, made from estimates. The size of Spinosaurus is a big estimate how big it could actually grow. Um, we don't know its weight, that's an estimate too. Uh, we don't know what it exactly ate uh, for sure. We don't have any evidence to actually show what Spinosaurus ate. And we don't even know completely what animals lived with Spinosaurus. We have a few ideas of animals that lived with Spinosaurus, such as Carcharodonosaurus, um, and some sauropods. But we don't really have a good understanding on the ecosystems uh, that Spinosaurus lived in, which is why I kind of hate talking about Spinosaurus, but I do think it's an awesome dinosaur. Um, but yet, we have made new discoveries uh, of Spinosaurus, of little remains, and so we can get a better idea of uh, this animal and we've been able to make these estimates it's just I hate them because um, we don't actually know if they're true um, I mean 18 meters is a long huge theropod and it is possible but um, I think we're going to find that when we have more evidence in the future of Spinosaurus I think we're going to find it's a lot smaller um, now bones have been found and I am very lucky um, um, I actually have been sent a fossil 
and it looks like it did come from a Spinosaurus so this is very very exciting um, I'm actually wondering if I'm uh, gonna get someone who puts me on Wikipedia on the Spinosaurus <laughs> uh, on the Spinosaurus page saying Dinosaur Rhino so has a fossil from Spinosaurus um, this is it this is a caudal tail vertebra of a large theropod dinosaur and it looks like this is from Spinosaurus now um, it's possible that it might not be it might be from a dinosaur like Carcovidonosaurus or maybe even a large raptor but I've looked at it and looking at the shape and looking at its age and location I feel pretty confident in actually saying this is a Spinosaurus vertebrate and this is very exciting um, here I think it would have been in the dinosaur in this kind of position here we have a, a processor which I think would have been on the left side the right processor seems to have been broken up and this would have been on top and if this was a vertebra um, the, a, dors a dorsal vertebra in the back the massive spine would be sticking out from there um, so this is very exciting and I thought you would love to see this this is amazing um, Spinosaurus fossils are so rare and here I am possibly holding a Spinosaurus vertebra um, so I'm going to study this a bit more and check that it probably is a Spinosaurus but I really do think that um, it is um, I think it's just amazing so I thought you guys would like to see that um, and here's some close-up shots